Hello everyone. I think it's mating season for the uh, goldfish. Okay, they're chasing each other around, um, and what usually happens is that the, uh, the males uh, bump the females to get them to release eggs. Okay, now I have put a. Uh, I think I've got like five baby koi in here, so the baby koi, which grow up to like between two and three feet. Um, are about the same size as these adult goldfish. Okay, so now these are now goldfish do grow up to a foot long, uh, but you know by the time they get to like like four inches, they're ready to breed. So interesting thing that I'm seeing. It seems like a lot of the goldfish are actually chasing the baby koi, um, which looks like them and is like a bit fatter. Okay, and what I think they think is that 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 uh, um, that koi, that little frog here croaking. I'm like, what is that sound? Yes, that guy right there croaking. So what I think they think is that koi fish, which is a baby, they think it's a fat female uh, goldfish that's full of eggs, <laughs> and they're, they're they're chasing it and they're like bumping it, trying to get it to uh, uh, release eggs into the water. Okay, so, uh, but yeah, the the, the the baby kois and the goldfish they're getting along just fine like they're all schooling together um but uh yeah interesting thing that yeah i mean they're definitely ready to breed these fish they're chasing each other around bumping each other or, or bumping the female and the uh that there's that one koi fish in there that's like bigger than slightly bigger than the goldfish that they think is a female and they're like after it <laughs> um so interesting stuff going on here look at them go a lot of fun to watch these little guys i watch these guys between like my shooting sessions like like this uh spot here is like halfway through my property so like i set up my targets and then as i walk down to check out my targets you know i stop in and i look at the fish to see what they're doing i'm also getting an aerator uh, a solar powered one uh, to just give them a little bit more oxygen, even though they they did just fine last year. I mean, um, I, there was just like one, like like there was like uh, I think last June, it was really dry and the water got a little bit low. Um, and what happens is when that happens, the water gets low on oxygen. And I did notice last year that some of the goldfish were coming to the top, trying to get some air. Um, and what I did, I mean, that wasn't a problem last year. I just took a hose and I put more water in here and that, that made them happy. But, uh, with the aerator, um, it's kind of like, you know, you know, basically they'll just keep giving them oxygen no matter, uh, what the, uh, air is doing. And I'm going to get some, some, uh, like palm plants, like lilies, uh, and other, uh, plants that give off oxygen. I mean, of course the grass is going to grow here with by the next month. So that will also give off oxygen. So anyway, wanted to give you guys a, uh, pond update here. So uh, you can't see the koi because the ones that they are chasing, they have like a darker color. The red ones are goldfish. The uh, the darker, the darker, uh, the darker ones are um, are the koi ones. Um, they're actually like a, they have like a yellowish color, but like through the water, it just they just look dark, and you can't you can't see them. I, I can see them, but you're not going to be able to see it uh, through this camera.